Hello and welcome to this episode of Minecraft. In the last episode, we went into that cave system again. In this episode, we're going to do a bit of clearing up in this segment. Notice this episode, I decided not to start my bed. I thought I'd try something a bit different this day, because today is a Monday. No. Uh, what day is it today? It is still, I think, April the 1st, currently. Uh, I kind of, this is, I think, going to be, I, I actually lost count of how many episodes I actually recorded today, but I'm recording a bulk load. This is because there's quite a few things coming up in my social life in the next couple of weeks. So I want to make sure I've got enough videos to last me at least for a couple of weeks. And I've now, uh, at this point, I've now got at least up to Easter done, so there's that. So I'm quite happy. This is probably going to happen after Easter, this episode in particular. So there's that, and so I've got all that to look forward to. But I do know there's a couple of social events coming up, so I probably won't be posting or uh, recording during that time. But I just want to make sure I got all of that done before... Oh yeah, I forgot, I ran out of um, space, didn't I? Okay. Let's go and uh, re-evaluate uh, situation here. Let's go and clean out my bag a bit. I might even put some in the A-frame because... The A-frame is a very good resource of stuff. Let's go. Alright, let's shove it in there, yeah. Let's shove it all. Just keep the pickaxes. On now and don't worry about the torches. Just get the pickaxes and not, not the iron one. Just the. That was a very strange sound. I don't know if that is um got anything to do with anything, but that is still a strange sound. Anyway, back up to that bit that we need to clear. Just realised how close it is to that building. I hope that's not going to be too much of an issue later on. No, it won't be. Shouldn't be. Should not be anyway. But anyway, I'm going to clear out some of this uh, stone cobbly stuff today with this pickaxe. That's why I'm up here. Let's get rid of it. Let's just get rid of all this uh, cobblestone. And that's really all I'm kind of planning on doing is getting rid of some of this like cobblestone. Because uh, we've got way too much of it. And I do want to clear this area out because I do want to do something with this segment. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it yet. But I'm sure I will um, uh, cross that bridge when I come to it. Because everyone knows that crossing a good bridge with a good stable forecourt with giant cheese strings is definitely a way forward. I'm just going to mine my way through all of this stone. Keeping on mining it through because we're just really cool. And yeah. Yeah. And now we're just mining up this cobblestone, just as we were mentioning earlier. Mining it completely out. And do you know what I really like about cobblestone? You can make it into like all sorts of different things. Like you can like put it in a furnace and it creates stone. And you can like create like stone bricks. And I think that's where you can like create chiseled stone bricks as well. Or is that just like um, a creative thing? But that's a different story entirely. Um, there is apparently meant to be a new update coming for Minecraft pretty really soon. Uh, I may... Uh, probably won't be in effect this series, but if I do another series of Minecraft, it might well come to effect. Uh, probably my main aim is to get that train track and probably really did that really decent farm built. But I'll come to that when that period of time comes. Got plenty of sheep as well. If I can find some cacti, then I'll probably do something with that. Uh, but that will come at a different point in time. 
Uh, for now, I just need to do a bit of clear up work. Because I'm just keep on mining through this. Keep on mining through the cobblestone stone. Yeah, it's cobbly stone, cobbly stone, cobble, cobble, cobblestone. Cobblestone, it's really hard. Cobblestone, it's really, really hard. Really, really hard of cobblestone. Cobble, cobblestone. Oh. But then, there's like a lot of cobblestone and andesite and other stuff, but yeah, but we all know it's like, yeah, and we can all mine it, like, yeah. Yep, there we go, just mine it out, just mine it out, like, yeah. Here comes the, yeah. Bam, there's like tons of this stuff, I might even make a special room for it, like, seriously. This is why like the inventory like filled up so quick when we were doing the other thing earlier. Because it's just literally filling up with all these different types. The andesite, the diorite, the granite, the gravel, the cobblestone, the whatever, the banana, the coal, the iron, and everything else in between. Oh my god, there's so many different resources and it's getting confusing from time to time. Only some of them look good. Like we like look at cobblestone, and but the other three look kind of ugly. That's just me. Maybe it's just because that's how they're meant to do. They're meant to look ugly, but I, I kind of like to think that they're there more for a creative purpose. I personally just don't. I'm not a huge fan of them personally. That's just me though. That is just me. If you like them, more power to you. But me, meh, meh. I just think they're just unnecessary. They do make cave systems like a little less uh, ugly or a little less boring and plain, but I'm not really into stuff just because how it looks. I'm into its functionality. As you've probably noticed, for some of the houses, they're not the prettiest houses in the world, and this farm isn't going to be any different. But I just I like the functionality of the design. I'm going to attempt to make work. Because I don't really know if this is going to work. I'm probably just clutching at straws. I'm really, I'm really starting to get the hang of this now. You know. And just getting rid of all of that. Yeah, look at this. This is really going down now. All of this. I'll be nearly done by now if I didn't make that big mistake a couple of episodes ago. And just start like taking chunks out of a random landfill, which had no relation to the landfill I was trying to hunt down. But that is inside the point. But now just get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of that. I'm getting near close to the point where it's going to be uh, clutching at straws. Yeah, um, oh yeah, it's starting to get dark. So I better get out of there. Oh god, that, looks, that actually does look really cool now. What was that? What the giant cheese quack? I think I've got a zombie villager, you know? Uh, and where's my house? Oh, there's my house. I lost my house there for a second, but I think there's a zombie villager in our midst. You know, I think I might have to kill it. Right, every house is getting searched. Open! Open! That's already open. Open! Nope, that's already open. Right, I'm searching this zombie villager because that really annoyed me. And then going back into my house. Uh huh. Well, that didn't annoy me actually. Bookshelf. Okay. I definitely heard something up. Where are the villagers in? Whoa! Holy cheese quack! 
Whoa! I was not expecting that! Wow! Okay! And, and, and now that might... Oh dear! Oh dear, that really did have some sort of impact. Uh, whoa, that really did not... That did a number for my screen. Oh boy! Two skeletons in one house! I was not expecting that. Holy cow! And it's in this one as well, isn't it? Holy cow! Wow, this guy's got armor. Holy cow! Oh my god! Now they've got my sword too! Wow! Oh dear! I was not expecting that! Where on earth did that happen? I, I don't even know what to say at this point, because that shouldn't happen. Look, that place is well lit. Are you serious now? Come on, give me a chance. Yes! There's one. Now for the other one. You can die. Holy Jesus, quack duck. That is... Uh, what the... Yeah, and you know what? First the set Huh? Do you know what I mean? There is a mini zombie. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Is this the episode where I'm confronting my overmost fears? Oh, that's it! You're gonna die! I've had enough of you and your anti- Wait, can I pick stuff up? Oh my god! That is it! That's it! I am going in there and I'm slaying that mini zombie if that's the last thing I do! Rah! God, I'm. Ugh. God, those mobs! Random mobs! I knew I had a mini zombie the other episode and now I know where! Inside this stupid thing! Where is it now? Where the hell are you? Holy cow! Sneak attack! Take this! You're gonna die! You're gonna die! You're dead! Yes! Take that! I've had it! And I've had it with stupid mini zombies and stupid skeletons! They can all die! Anyway, now that I'm a lot calmer, I'm gonna go back to the house. And I'm now gonna collect the spades, which I was gonna do initially, until I had to deal with a slight mob infestation. And do you know how much I hate mob infestations? I don't even know how that one even started. Uh, no, no, no. I don't even know how that even started. There was two skeletons in the house over there. There was one mini zombie in the house in like, the church over here. A mini zombie in my own town that I spent ages lighting up and one just randomly spawns out of thin air. That is just dumb. Ugh. Oh. Probably the most I've raged for quite some time. Some of you probably got quite excited there, but hey. Um, doesn't look like too much damage, but it's just... Uh, wow, that was totally unexpected. <laughs> and that's why, folks, I hate mini zombies. Because they just sneak up on you for no reason, and then they just take you out, and you're just like, what did I do to deserve that? Oh dear, uh, well what I now need to do is go and try and figure out or fathom out where on earth I put, oh, I've got some more pickaxes here, I've kind of taken a chunk out of those, but I need my spades, spade, spade, and I might create some more spades. Uh, I don't even know where where like the sticks are. Where did I put the sticks? This is embarrassing. I'll probably put them in here. And I've just oh no way. Yeah, no, I used small up. That was it. Oh boy, I've not raged like that for quite many quite many epics. Yeah. Ah, blah, 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 blah. I can't get my words in straight. 
Oh, that annoyed me. Can, can you can you guys tell that I'm annoyed? Really, can you guys tell that I'm annoyed? If the answer is yes, it's because it's true. I am annoyed. I hate mini zombies. I also hate stupid skeletons, especially when they're armoured. And how is that fair? Can someone please tell me how it is fair? To have a room, go into a room and ganged up by two skeletons when I'm in a town. This town is heavily lighted up. I, d I don't know if you realise this. Look, torch, 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 torch. Like, those places, they weren't like pitch black. Now, um, here's the thing. Next time, I'm lighting up the inside of these stupid houses in case something like that happens again. There should be no reason why that should have happened because they're all lit up. What in the giant name of lemony cheese quack ducks is going on? I hate mini zombies. I hate skeletons. They all deserve to die. And if they don't die, well, they, they, well, they should die anyway because my name is Robotic Master and I said so. And we're halfway through the day. We are halfway through the day and I've actually got nothing done. Nothing done. How un how unproductive is that? Are you for real now? Just because of a stupid... Oh, wait. Yeah, you can say I killed skeletons. But, wait. I don't know if you realise this. I died three times. And also, the bit where it says zombie should say mini zombie. I am not an e I'm not a technical person, so I'm not going to like debate this to the earth and back. But, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh. That annoyed me. Well, ne next you're going to say that a creeper is just going to randomly spawn up here and it's going to blow me off the face of the planet just for being existing, just for existing on this plane of grass, on this plane of grass, on that bit of dirt, on that stone wall, on that giant cheese frame or something because oh my god do you know what next episode i'm gonna go in a cave i feel like going inside a cave do you know why because a cave will give me more love the cave loves me more the cave will you know the cave will do its job the cave will go and like send me like the toughest mobs just because it's a cave and then i could like rage at the cave like a rage cave <laughs> And then I can have a proper rage fest in a cage. Uh, I mean a cave. Because caves are made for raging. Did you know that? I knew that. You knew that. We all knew that. They are made for raging. They're not made for like, oh, look at me. I'm a little princess. Look at me do a little tap dance on a little piece of green grass. La, 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 la. I'm singing in the Smurfs theme just because I can. And I'm trying to make a point here about dancing. And Smurfs theme is kind of the first thing I think of when I think a little princess is dancing. Because a little princess Smurf, I can't remember what her name is. I think her name is Smurfette. And she used to dance a lot. I used to love that show when I was young. Because it was so weird and it was a really weird show but because it was weird it made it super epic too so yeah there's that and that is why a cave is made for raging because you don't get princesses in a cave unless you're watching saturday morning cartoons or something or like that something that's on in the morning like oh look i'm a princess i'm in locked in a cave by giant green uh, banana man or by dthd gamer on steroids who knows who knows what is keeping that lady and princess in the cave? Well, it could even be Soul Dude it. Soul Dude it could have kidnapped her and then like fed, tried feeding her to uh, a giant swamp rat or something because swamp rats are pretty cool. Or it could be like a huge mob of haters like, hey, um, can I just do a bit of self promotion in your stream, man? And then we're gonna be like, no, no self promotion because you suck. But that's a totally different story entirely. And I, uh, do you know what? I think I've calmed down. And now that I've calmed down, this episode is drawing to a close. I'm just going to get rid of this last patch of dirt. I'm going to make it back to my house and sleep. Because I've just seen the sun dip between the clouds. And that's a sign I need to retreat back to my house and rest up. In this episode, we've done a bit of clearing up. And I got killed by two skeletons and a zombie. Not just any old zombie. The evil, the treacherous, the most devastating mob of the game. The mini zombie. This has been Robotic Master. Thank you for watching. And this is me signing off. And I'm so relieved I don't have to do with that stupid mini zombie anymore.